Hi, ladies and gentlemen. What I want to show us in this video is how to solve a common challenge Power BI users experience. Power BI users that don't have a work email address, they are unable to sign up and publish to Power BI service, use custom visuals, get their report as a PDF or in PowerPoint. These are the things you won't be able to do. And a lot of some other things you won't be able to do as a pro user. But there is a work around it which I want to show us. Basically, what we need to do is to set up a Microsoft 365 developer account, which is once we set it up, we go to this website and we set up a tenant, which is going to give us an email address that we can now use as a work email address. Once we, once we use that, we are going to be able to sign in to Power BI. We can also use other Power Platform products like Power Automate and Power Apps. So what I need to do is I'm on the website now. I only need to come here and click on Join Now. Once I click on Join Now, I click on Join Now, and it's going to ask me to sign into my Microsoft account. I'm going to assume I don't have a Microsoft account. So if you have a Microsoft account, you can use your Microsoft account, but I'm going to assume we don't have it. And I'm going to say, okay, get a new email address. Get a new email address as Microsoft account. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put a new email address basically. So what I need to do is to just use an email address that I want to use. And I need to set up my password. And once I'm done with that, I click on next. And it's setting up my account, my Microsoft accounts now. So once this is done, we can now go on to active to activate our subscription, our developer accounts. Then I go to next. I need to pick the picture of a rabbit and one, two, three, four, and that is done. Okay. So we wait for the account creation process to be over. Once this is over, it takes us to the developer profile page. So we want to set up our profile, our developer account profile. So basically, we just wait. We just need to fill in some information. We can see it has automatically generated the first and last name for us. So I just need to input my country. And I just go to Nigeria and I have it. And I can call the name of my company, Abdullah Fis Consort. Okay, English is preference, I accept the terms of condition. And next. Okay, so I want to use it for personal project next. I want to use it for Power Platform because under Power Platform, we have Power BI, Power Automate, and Power Apps. Okay, save. So once I have this, I'm almost done. You make sure you choose Instant Sandbox. My account is almost set up. So I just need to click on next again, and I need to set up an admin username. Let's call it Ablafiz again, and I set up a password. And I confirm my password. Okay, everything looks good. And I click on continue, and I also need to confirm my phone number here and I'm going to input my phone number now 
so that a code is going to be sent to me to just complete the process. And once this is done, I click on send code. So we need to have a mobile device with us. We need to have a mobile device with us to do this. So I have my code on my computer and I enter it on my mobile device rider and I enter it here and I set it up. So basically we are almost done with what we need to do. Now this is my account. This, is, this administrator account is what I can use to sign in. I can use it to sign into Power BI. So this is my domain name that has been automatically created for me. And I need you also to understand that a lot of things come with this developer account, which are, you can have 12 to five user licenses. You can pre-configure pre team apps. You can also download and install Office 365 apps. And um, you have advanced protection for Office 365 and some other things listed here. Basically, you can use it for 90 days. But as long as you continue using, it is going to automatically renew for us. So there's no problem. Just continue using the services. And after 90 days, it's going to be renewed. So I have this administrator email address. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go to my Power BI screen. And I'm going to just click on sign in. I'm going to click on sign in and I enter my email address. I'm going to continue. And once I do that, it's going to ask me for, um, for password. I select my account, password, and I complete an authentication process. So basically that's it. And we are almost done. We are almost done. We are almost done. And I select my account now and OK. And enter password. I enter my password. OK, sign in. So we can just click on next. Click on next and we just want to complete our signing process. So over here now, it wants us to download a Microsoft Authenticator app, a Microsoft Authenticator app. So you can download it from any of the store, depending on the kind of device you are using, whether Play Store or Apple Store. And we click on Next. I download the Microsoft Authenticator app, and I set up my account. It is just a form of two-factor authentication. And I click on Next. And we just set up our account. And I basically use the QR code and scan a QR code. I'm scanning right now. And everything looks good. Everything looks good. And once that is done, I click on Next. And you can see now, I approve signing on my app, on my mobile device. And notification approved, next. And everything looks good. Everything looks good. And I can enter my number, phone number here again. And Nigeria. And enter phone number. Next. So I have the code and I have to input it. And next. Now everything looks good. Success. Then done. So we are done. We are able to sign into Power BI desktop for free so you can do this for 90 days it gives you access as a pro user as a pro user so everything looks good this is basically what you need to do you can see now that i have the auto generated first name and last name 
So we can also come over here to our browser. You can just sign in to Power Automate also with the same email address. You can come to flow.microsoft.com and sign in over there to work with Power Automate. You can also do the same for Power Apps. So everything looks good. You just click on sign in. You enter your email, arm, password, and that is all about signing in as a pro user. So with this sign in now, you can come over here and um, get more visuals in Power BI. You can get more visuals that are not readily available here. So basically, these are custom visuals. These are custom visuals that we may want to work with, but we need to sign in. And I have solved the problem for us. So I want to get custom visuals. You just come over here and you get your custom visuals. Once you design a report, we can also publish. We can also publish. We have published over here. We can also publish to Power BI service. And that is all. Thank you, guys. If you are watching my channel for the first time, kindly subscribe, like, and share. Have a nice time.